Hello my friends, welcome to Fossil Hunting and Collecting with Chris. Part two, or day two, of Mike and Ray's field trip is a return to Fossil Mountain. This is the mountain that is also a golf course. We call it Fairway to Trilobite Heaven, where we're finding all these really wonderful Devonian fossils, particularly really nice gastropods, and some, when we're lucky, some articulated diplora and other varieties of trilobites. Oh, and also we're going to hit a bonus site. So after we go to Trilobite Mountain, there is a new site. One of our leaders, Ray, has gotten permission to go on state property where they had recently excavated some material. I think they're using it for fill, but there is fossils in the material. They let us know, and we're gonna be able to take a look through that. So thank you for joining me. Let's take a look at what's out there. Ladies and gents, I'm really excited. We are invited back to the Fossil Golf Course. Used to be very often have very good luck here. It's very often we find the trilobite, the flora, the ki, and a lot of other nice gastropods, stuff like that. So we're hoping the weather holds up. Looks like it's not too bad. Clouds may pass, might get a couple of sprinkles, we'll see. Have to keep the phone dry. But uh, we'll be looking for fossils, hopefully making some good finds, and I'll bring you in when we find good stuff. Other than that, I think that's it, isn't it, Mike? Yeah. Uh, the dummy lock and the... Yes, and I, the term is dummy lock. Don't be a dummy. <laughs> I, right? did, I did to wants, find it. Yeah. <laughs> anyone who wants to go out or needs to go out, tell us, one of us will go down with you. Open the gate so you can go out and close the gate again. They bend over backwards to let us in here. We've already screwed it up once. We don't want to screw it up. Oh, uh, he was a—he's a sweet kid, but you know. And his girlfriend was saying, "No, that's what—not what they told us to do." But uh, we've had some real good luck. I found two doubles. One of them I didn't know till I got it home. Yeah. Because a piece broke off of it. It was uh, triarthus going this way. You'll find triarthus here. I don't think it's we have some take up. I don't remember. Triarthus. The deplora decay eye you'll find here. I found one that was going like this and going into the when I got it home, one of the pieces of the triarthus back underneath it was another one going this way so so we're not sure what they're doing nice when they die <laughs> <laughs> if anybody was naughty yesterday had some box in the middle of them trying to not take home over on the back of my truck so right. feel oh, and, free and, if, yeah, if anybody, and anybody who went through yesterday also have shirts uh, club shirts i'll make a shirt if anybody's interested and um hats Okay, first find of the day is from Sue, right? Yep. Is by Sue, and it is a nice, can you see it? Let's zoom in. It is a nice big bivalve. Good work. All right, so starting off by putting my pry bar, hammering it into this part of the outcrop up here. Got it to a point where the pry bar stands up by itself, that makes it easier. And I'm gonna be working that in and shaking it up and flipping it down. And Hopefully that big chunk will come down. Now all this top layer, and actually most of these layers are really good. So it's not a matter really here way to dig, but how much surface is there? So we'll work this out and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Okay. Over here, just knocked down that big rock. See this curvy thing showing right here? That's probably a fossil of some type. Not to break this up more. Oh, there's a little gastropod here. Not to break this up more to see if there's anything exciting in it. So you may remember Owen from yesterday. He found out, uh, yesterday he found that awesome Demora. We rolled and today he's off to the races with another one. So here we have uh, the head of a Deplora and you have uh, two tails, two tails. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much for showing us that. So this big one I pulled down has a nice big cephalopod in it. So this is why we do this. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this out without breaking it. That's going to be a trick. So I did get that out one piece, so that's pretty good. I didn't want to say that up in a big crowd. I <laughs> so how you guys I guess you're doing so well you decide to move on huh did you see the trilobite that uh, Mike cut Mike found or no no yeah, Lisbon awesome let's take a look at that that's the bottom and that's the top hold that sideways there this way we'll get go. the other sideways towards you sideways so ways oh <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Mike has a very nice find. Oh, we deserves haven't a seen drum. it yet. It was, it was a nice find. Yeah. Well, you have a reputation. Anyway, if you wrap it up, then it's going to be a nice find, right? It must be. <laughs> this you is, wrapped this it up. is drama, isn't it? Well, drama. unfortunately, a piece is broken off. So here's the. Oh wow. There's the head. Oh yeah. Wow. That's a face a mother could love. And well, all the way around to the tail. Wow. Well, I can so see like why you wrapped that up tight. Uh, <laughs> You're going to have to try and keep some, that together. And does the whole thing look like it's there? Did you just all fold it? It's all there. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Really cool. Yeah, it's very, very nice find bike. Well, found a little trilobite head. Nothing to get too excited about. Just a little one. Little. Looks like a deplora head. So over here looking at a couple of little gastropods. These shells have disintegrated, and what you're getting left is the coiled inside of what used to be, or where the shell used to be. We're getting a internal cast of the, of the snails. Find some nice, some big trial bites here for lucky. Thank you. Now let's look at the prehistory of this area. We go back to the Middle Devonian. This was when Pangaea was first starting to form. We have North America, Europe, and Africa all pushing together not far from this site. And it caused a lot of, well, mountain ranges, the Catskills, to get pushed up. But not only did it go ahead and push up the Catskills and the entire Allegheny Plateau, but it also helped trap an inland sea. There was an inland sea where western New York is. You can see this sort of in the corner that circled over here. While this sea, as the mountains eroded, as they washed down their sediments, they eventually filled this in. So over the course of some tens of millions of years, all this sediment was washing down from these newly formed mountains into this sea. It eventually filled up, and by the time Pangaea started to break up, well, this was all land. We have what is now New York State had been deposited in the uh, Devonian. So we have all this new land with all these creatures. We have what was the Devonian Sea now filled in, entrapping all the remains of the creatures that had lived there when it was an ocean. So we see these trilobites, these gastropods, these bivalves and brachiopods. When we're lucky, we even see crinoids and things like that all in these sediments. The sedimentary rock is going to be uh, different layers of siltstone, sandstone, occasionally limestone preserving all these creatures for us to find. In the central New York area, there are lots of different Devonian formations that outcrop along the many hills and valleys. In particular, we're seeing probably the Panther Mountain Formation that seems to be matching up with the fossils that we're finding here. The Panther Mountain Formation kind of covers a fairly large range. It's running with some of the Ludlow and Moscow formations at the same time, and it's giving us this siltstone or mudstone with all these well-preserved fossils. 
another good find. He has a nice trilobite. We have the thorax regions. We have the tail. It looks like it's enrolled over itself. So if you look at the bottom, you can see some more of it here. So it kind of rolled over on itself. They, they roll up like pill bugs. Now Sue is about to pull out that really nice big bivalve that she found. There we go. All right. Good job. Thank you. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Shells. So what's happened is sediments have filled in. So over time, the mucky water, this was all in underwater, probably a very fine, silty material. And the soil and dirt got into the gastropod. The outside, which is a aragonite, which is a very weak form of calcium carbonate, dissolves easily. So that dissolved and we're just left with that imprint of the of what was the snail, or what was the gastropod. Thank you. So, uh, so it's silicates basically that kind of do it, right? Uh, carbonates, car uh, car calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate. Uh, if you don't mind, would you like to tell us about the spot you work you cleared out there? Uh, there isn't a whole lot to tell you. <laughs> well, I think you, you cleared off a nice layer up there. Yeah, I'm just trying to do what you're doing is just kind of go layer by layer. Exactly. Kind of shear off pieces so that I have whole pieces instead of little chunks. Yes, that's uh, right. with little chunks, you have to get really lucky with big chunks. You get a lot more with a little bit of luck. Yeah. And one thing I ever found, I found one with three trilobites in limestone in that quarry off the road somewhere up here. I don't remember exactly what that was. Oh, nice. Yeah, and that was just the same thing, just shearing the two shells. So you do have success with it. Yes. <laughs> awesome, what did you find? Uh, I've got a pleura from a trilobite, and then I've got a trilobite piece. Very nice, very nice. Good find, good, good hunting. Hey, so can I see yours again? Oh, hold on, tell me your name again? Mike. Mike, can I see yours again, Mike? I don't, I don't, if it's a pain in the neck, don't worry about it. Okay, so Mike is in the right layer. He's starting to find trilobites. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the trilobites. You also have a cephalopod right there. Okay. So yeah, so you're getting into the good stuff. How's it going? Anything new? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got, I got some big rocks out too. No fossils. still up here. Yes. So somebody can come by along the bottom and break it up for you. Exactly. Nice cephalopod. That is an awesome sample. That is really nice. Thank you. So, John has found an avenite. Really nice. Oh, and a trilobite. Wow. So, John is having a good day. Look at that. That is a beautiful one. He needs fossil surgery. Two and a half inch enrolled. Nice. Enrolled trilobite? Awesome. Very nice. All right. Right, so now we have two finds here. We have Sue has a trilobite, and we have Mike. Ha Mike, right? Yep. Mike has a big deplora head. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're looking for. Oh, nice! All right, so once again, have a big pry bar in the rock, getting ready to conduct an avalanche. It's moving up, not necessarily up. Moving up. Here we're talking deeper made it, water. Yeah. So that, that might have broken off from a high water and fell into this muck that where all the trilobites and gastropods are living. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, sure. Cheers. Thank huh? you very much for showing us that. Yeah, right the over here, a trilobite tail. And that is a part of a cephalopod. Oh, okay. It's a healthy boy. It could yes. Be, it could be like a little, let the calyx you. Very. I uh, wasn't even thinking about calyx. <laughs> that's no, that's no, just money. He makes up stuff. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> what, what do you want it to be? <laughs> I mean, you can, I, I can see that being like rudish. I mean, yeah, but not, not usually if they don't widen out, then they're crinoids as opposed to uh, cephalopods. cephalopods. Yeah. Okay, that's I, that was my line of thinking on that. That makes sense. Thank you, Jim. I mean, giant piece isn't coming out in one piece, but that's not a problem. It's going to give us some decent sized slabs that may have fossils. We've got a gastropod there, probably another gastropod, more gastropods. All right, well, gastropods and trilobites are often found together, so that's not a bad sign. That piece that came out, it has two big bivalves on it. Unfortunately, they are cracked, so it doesn't look like they're going to hold together well. Hopefully, the stuff that's coming out is a little more consolidated. I'm still working this block. Okay, some more to check. Here is a bivalve being compared to a trilobite picadium or tail. Here, you can actually see these little dots in it. The, they're arthropods, and that's actually how okay. they breathe. They don't have lungs, they have pores where air gets into their bodies. Right. Uh, this would have been a shell, and the oh. bivalves, they tend to be equal on both sides, and they curl into a little, uh, that would be where the hinge is on, okay. the, on the bivalve. So it's the dots, and then the curl for the hinge. Curl for the hinge. Those are the diagnostics. Okay. Yeah, I would say on this, because the, uh, yeah, they, they're very flat for trilobites, these, uh, um, the tail the plura tails. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you for that. You're welcome. That is a yep, nice tail of a deplora. Good find. If you don't mind, give us your first name. Susan. So Susan has found a nice uh, articulated bivalve completely popped out of the matrix. Really nice. Yeah. Thank you for showing right. us that. Now I've got a big pagidium, big trial by tail. Too bad it's not complete. So I found a little trilobite head with a little bit of thorax attached to it inside that hole where I ripped out the big rock. So I found a little bit. And what did you find? Got a couple of big bivalves, got a lot of gastropods, some partial that trilobites. Is the back side of that one? Oh, yes. It's a pretty good Yeah, that one I found the head of the, the negative. So I kept digging in that hole and eventually the positive came out. Can't be all negative, gotta be positive sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and so I just gotta carry the buckets up and take a lunch break. And... Are you going up down? What's that? Are you going up? I'm just going up to the car, yeah. Because we're, we're actually leaving. Oh, okay. But we're gonna, we'll carry one of your buckets up soon. All right, so Helen has found a really nice trilobite. It's a partial, but she's got a lot of it. And it looks like the matching tail over here. The Pagidium. So, uh, very nice trilobite. You can glue that right back together and yeah. <laughs> good yeah. bye, good bye, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> really good day up here at the golf course. We found, a lot of people found some really nice fossils. Mike found a full trilobite. I heard it a another one or two. A lot of really nice things we found here at the golf course. So once again, this is a private land, permission only, but uh, the New York Paleontological Society was able to take people here. We had a great time. It is a beautiful place and uh, very thankful to the people who let us collect. Now we're off to the bonus site that Ray has been able to get for us. So we are getting a bonus site today. It is on state land, but we are allowed to dig here today. We're going to be looking for more Devonian fossils. This bonus spot is huge. A great place, as long as there's fossils, 
We will have to see. This site has some nice layers that are just full of rocket pods with some original shell. How's it going? It's going. It's going, going, going. <laughs> Breaking bracks. Caught <laughs> it. I am sure it's absolutely nothing. But I think that's little. Well, it's not absolutely nothing. It's a rock for sure. Yeah. Um. I think it's a little piece of a sample pod, maybe. Okay. There's, there's bigger yeah. stuff down that oh, way. Yeah. Don't give it up. Sure. Right on the top. It's too long. We have enough people. Well, you know that they, they are Mucris Burfer. They are our club symbol. Yeah, so, I know. Uh, well, yeah, see, I think you should take the rock home. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That one I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. It's full of Mucris Burfer. Yeah. What's that bulbous thing sticking out? I there? don't know. So it just catch my attention. And then there's another one. Huh. Right there. Yeah, but I think you should you hack that out. It might be something. Well, it's something. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, that's fairly, those are fairly recent. So time is winding down, and we are getting ready to pack up. This spot had a lot of nice slabs of brachiopods, particularly mucus perifer, which is the New York Paleontological Society's official fossil. Um, probably if we had more time, we'd find more, but this might be a good place for future visits. Okay, Rich has found a very nice cephalopod. Oh, it looks like it's cracking, so you yeah, want to support yeah. that. But uh, yes, Rich has found a very nice cephalopod. Thank you for showing us that. All right, this was fun. We got to see a bonus site. I'm going to do a wrap up of some of the best things that I found today. So please stick around. This piece that I found has lots of big bivalves. That end, it looks like, oh, part of a trilobite on it as well, and some gastropods. But what's really remarkable are the large bivalves, large Devonian bivalves. And nice cephalopods as well. And another gastropod here. And one up here. Two up here. Here are some more really nice gastropods. And you know what this is? This is a pygidium or the tail end of a trilobite. Here are some really nice gastropods. You can see, well, it looks like uh, this is the internal mold. The outside is gone. And you can actually see a little gap where the shell used to be. And this looks like a external cast of a bimbixia. Some more of those mucus burifers, our club's official symbol. This seems to be the remains of a cephalopod on this trace fossil. It has either worm burrows or trails in it as well. So I didn't find too much this time. I got a couple of 
trilobite heads, which is great. Got that cephalopod, which is fairly large. Not too much else, but got some really nice footage to share with everybody. And besides, everyday fossil collecting is a good day. In addition to the fossils we found there, John, who's been really generous all these years, he gives a box and a few other things at the sites. Uh, he gave me these posters for my classroom. It's a series of about 30 of them. Three of them are already hanging up in the classroom. Four of them are already hanging up in the classroom. So thank you for these really cool posters on the evolution of already touch everything. Thank you. Again, I'm going to ask if you like these fossil adventures, go ahead and give me a like or even hit the subscribe button. And that will make videos like this, fossil hunting videos, pop up more often in the YouTube feed. Thank you for watching all the way to the end if you have. Bye bye. And uh, I will see you in the next fossil hunting dig. Thank you.